What's going on YouTube? Steven Asalonga here and happy Friday. I hope you all had a great uh, Thanksgiving yesterday. Today I'm going to be doing a haircut that may be bringing back something that has, there's been a lot of controversy over. That's the undercut. The undercut haircut. But here's the thing is I'm going to be creating a different type of undercut which I'm going to explain to you guys that you may find very, very helpful if you're looking for something new and an alternative way to wear your hair in 2020. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to section this off. I'm going to actually do the whole haircut. You can follow along and then I'll break it down at the end. But the key is that, yes, it's going to be like a traditional undercut where all of this is disconnected, but uh, you'll see the unique part of it when I'm done. Let's get started. So I just want to go over the, the sectioning before I actually start the haircut. So what I've done is, you know, you want to be careful with undercuts that you don't go too high or you don't go too low. You want to basically create the sectioning right where the recession is, right at these very, very corners. And you have to be very, very accurate and precise. I've seen way too many botched haircuts where the undercuts are brought up like way too high here, you shave off some of the hairline or it's too low, but usually the mistake I see is that the lines aren't straight, it's very uneven and jagged. But here's the key also to the back right here, is I've created this coming into kind of a point, and that's what you wanna to do to keep everything looking a bit more natural, uh, is, is that you wanna make sure it's not coming straight across way up here. You want this to come down into a little bit of a point. So if you're a hairstylist or a barber doing this, this is gonna be the best option to do it. And if you're a client, just make sure you tell them that the undercut kind of, or the sectioning comes to a point right here in the middle. Follow the same thing on the other side. Now what we're gonna do is get rid of all this hair, and then I'll show you the unique part of this whole haircut soon. All right guys, so I'm gonna break down the haircut. So the magic of this whole haircut was the underneath here. What I did is I used a number eight guard, which is, in, for the Clippers, it's the highest guard you can go, or it's equivalent to, I'd say, about you know an inch, no more than really an inch in length in throughout the sides here. Did that all the way throughout the sides and the back. All right, so all this is all disconnected and an undercut. Then what I did is I created my perimeter base outline where I brought everything down. I cut it a little bit longer in the front here. You always want to have the hair longer in the front. And then I did cut it pretty much straight across and through here. Then I point cut throughout the bottom here just to kind of soften up the hair and soften up the look a little bit. And that's the whole key to this whole thing is that it's a much softer look. I went over this with scissor over comb. Notice it's not like a zero you know, a, a really strong buzz. I left a little bit of hair kind of like, it's almost like a grown out undercut, right? That's really what it is. It's, it's growing it out. But if you cut it into this type of shape, it creates its own style. So then what I did throughout the back here is I connected this part in through the top. Again, you have to have a consistent blend and connection and you need to have a little bit of hair here. That's why I want this to come into a bit of a point so that it looks a, it looks a little more natural. And when the hair falls down this way, as you can see, it has a very good uh, balance to the whole thing. It's not brought up way up here. It's not way down here like a mullet. It's got really, really good balance so that when you slick this back, this is also going to help keep this hair back a bit too. I like the sides a bit longer. It adds a little bit of softness to it. Then I, I literally just blow dried it with my hands and 
gave it a little bit of volume and texture, and then I used my brand new matte clay from my crafted line, which is literally dropping today. So it's kind of like a medium hold, uh, really, I almost actually has a little bit of, of grit and a little bit of strong, I think it's pretty strong to me, but let's just say it's a true good, really medium hold, very, very matte finish, work it through the hair, and it's, it's really an amazing product and the smell is fantastic. Very, very workable, great texture, and here we have the finished result. In case anyone is wondering, this is our buddy Samuel from Pivot Point. Really, really great mannequin. Looks pretty real to me, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I also want to show you something too. So let's shake the hair up a little bit here, and I want to show you guys, uh, there is some of the product in here, so it's a little bit uh, hard to kind of maneuver, but I want to show you guys what it looks like with kind of a, a different type of parting. If you want to kind of part it over to the side this way, to create like a little more of an extreme look. You know, I, th I think anything you do with this, because the sides are longer, it really helps distinguish the haircut. And it doesn't look or scream, oh, I've got an undercut. But what it does do is create a bit more sophistication to the haircut, and I think more of a modern twist to the whole thing. So let me know in the comments below. Once again, Black Friday sale is now active going all the way through Cyber Monday, 30% off the entire store, no code needed, it's automatically applied at checkout. Also, the brand new crafted uh, matte clay drops today. So definitely check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more videos with the Salon Guy.